another week of keto, keto in 10, where we take your favorite meals and make them into something keto friendly within 10 minutes. Now today we decided to do pizza, half vegetable, half pepperoni pizza to be exact. And this is one of our first time making keto pizza. And the secret to this is in the crust. Now here we have all the ingredients that we need. And first we're going to add our mozzarella cheese. Now a lot of people um, use cauliflower instead to make their keto pizza. But this is our very special keto pizza. Only brought to you by We Talk Keto. So here we have our mozzarella cheese. So first we're going to add our mozzarella cheese. So this is about one cup of mozzarella cheese. And to this we add our almond flour. Now you could also use coconut flour for this. Alright, some psyllium husk. This you could or could not put, it's up to you. Some salt. And to this we add some coconut milk. Now this is to give it a bit more flavor, a bit more fat. You could also use almond milk. Now as you could see here, it is a bit dry. So we don't really want this consistency. We want it to be not too soft and not too dry. So here you can see it is a bit dry. So what we could do is add a little bit more milk. Alright. So here we have a little bit of more milk. Right now you mix this. Also add in two eggs. Mix. So this is not really the consistency that we want. As you can see, it is a little bit too watery. So what we need to do is put a little bit more almond milk. So what we can do, sorry, is put a little bit more almond flour, not milk. Right, so my almond milk is here. Flour is here. <laughs> Why I keep saying milk? Right. Uh, so this is one tablespoon. Two tablespoons of almond flour. Ha, I get it right. Alright, now we mix. A little bit more. So we added four extra tablespoons of almond flour. Right. 
right so here you can see it is not too watery and it is not too thick like um in a ball if you could if you can if your butter can roll into a ball it is too thick or it, is, it will be very crumbly they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine you just can't get into it because they would never understand okay guys sorry about that i mean that if you would like your pizza base or your pizza crust to not be too crumbly and powdery then the ratio of the mozzarella cheese to the almond flour should be right also if you want a pizza base in which you could roll out your ratio of mozzarella cheese and almond flour should also be right but you should avoid putting too much milk you should also bear in mind that this recipe makes a 12 inch pizza you don't want that well, some people make their their dough, their pizza dough that way, you know, but we don't want it that way for this video. Right, now we take this and pour into our baking pan. Use a pizza tray for your um, pizza dough and you need parchment paper on this because if you put the, the butter on the pizza tray just like this, it will pass through so you need to put or use parchment paper so as we do not have enough parchment paper at home right now we decided to use a baking tin so this is a non-stick baking tin that we decided to use for this pizza so we'll see how it goes so we pour in our butter Then we spread out. If you want, you could use your, use your hands for this. I'm going to use my hands, but I need a glove. Alright. Now I did not. Uh, I did not grease my baking tin and that's fine if you want to then you could go ahead it's optional A few moments later
right so this is how our pizza came out as you can see <coughs> our pepperoni slash ham well ham in place for pepperoni is there and this is our olives so this is our vegetable side this is our pepperoni side so i'm gonna use a plastic cake cutter to remove this uh, to prevent the pan from damaging too much You don't need cauliflower to make a perfect pizza. We just showed you a simple way with almond flour to get that pizza that you want. So now, <laughs> go to the end of our video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Also check us out on Zara Physique. We drop a video every Friday. Leave a comment and tell us how yours went when you tried it. And give us some suggestions on what you'd like us to do next. Thank you for watching.